everyone welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is Liz or Elizabeth and in today's video we are going to be doing a at-home glute workout my I literally just got over having COVID and as you can tell my voice is still a little bit stuffy so I wanted to film a at-home glute workout for you guys today I haven't been to the gym in about like five or six days so I'm gonna ease my way back into it so I'm gonna do a fit check in a second but I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you can follow along at home um, some of the equipment I'm going to be using I understand that everyone has in their house but you can use body weight or dumbbells if you have it just you know work what work with what you have also you guys I made an Amazon storefront um, I'll link it down below but it's basically a bunch of products I use supplements I take workout clothes and accessories I have and love so if you're interested that link will be in the description box below and let's get started with the video here is my outfit this is the sheen silk shirts it's kind of like a dry fit material and then these are the navigation contour seamless shorts you already know and then I'm wearing my adidas shoes I'm kind of like pink and purple today that's really cute so yeah also I wanted to tell you guys on my Amazon storefront I also have the camera that I use the G7X um, I bought it off Amazon and then I also have this cute pink case on that's also on my Amazon storefront but here we are gonna be working out here's my bench this is all my equipment and then I have more like dumbbells so this is the bench I'm gonna be using and then I have this is the barbell I'm going to use for hip thrusts, and then I have some dumbbells and stuff. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, I know not everyone has this equipment at home. Um, you can use body weight, dumbbells, literally whatever you have you can use. I'm just going to be using the barbell today for hip thrusts, and then going to be using some dumbbells for my other exercises. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's get to our workout. Okay, so I'm starting off with barbell hip thrusts. As I said, I just have 45 pound plates on each side. I didn't want to go too heavy because as I said, I'm still recovering from COVID and I like haven't worked out in like a week. So I didn't want to go too heavy. So I'm doing three sets of 12 and I'm doing a hold at the end like an isolation hold for about 10 seconds or so I kind of do it until failure and um I failed easily today as I said I haven't worked out in forever so I'm just doing three sets of 12 and really making sure I engage my core to keep my form on point and I'm doing cast glute bridges so I'm not going all the way down. When you do a regular hip thrust, the plates will hit the floor and you're going all the way down and with the cast glute bridge, you're just, you know, going halfway down and then going up to keep that tension in the glutes and that's really going to help grow your glutes. And then I'm going into dumbbell RDLs. I stress this in every video I make. RDLs, dumbbell RDLs, barbell RDLs. They are my favorite exercise to grow my glutes. As soon as I incorporated RDLs into my workout routine, I saw amazing results. So I absolutely love these. Um, I'm doing 20 pound dumbbells. Um, the dumbbells look really big because they're the dumbbells that you can like switch the weight. But yeah, I'm doing 20 pounds on each side. And with RDLs, you want to make sure you are keeping your back really straight and pushing your butt back. As I said in my other videos, I always imagine like a wall behind me. Because if your RDL form is bad, you are going to hurt your back and, you know, it's just, it's really not good. You really want to do form over weight. As I say in every single video, form over weight is the way to go. So, I am doing three sets of 12 and I'm doing, these are great for your glutes and your hamstrings. These are my favorite exercise for glutes and hamstrings. So, I really, really recommend these for anyone trying to grow, grow their glutes. So yeah, just keep your back straight, your core really, really tight to maintain that good form. Ooh. 
Now I'm going into single leg RDLs. These are also amazing for your glutes and they isolate one glute at a time. So that's really good to grow your glutes is isolation exercises. So again, I'm using the 20 pound dumbbell and I'm doing three sets of 12 on each leg. And as you see, I'm kind of like grabbing my butt, <laughs> but like I'm trying to make sure that my glutes are really you know, intact and tight and keeping that tension in my glutes. And you want to make sure you're always keeping tension in your glutes. And same thing with regular RDLs. You want to make sure your core is really tight and your back is not hunching over or anything like that. You're pushing your butt back. And I promise you guys, if you imagine that wall behind you and pushing back on that wall, it will really, really help your RDL form. I know a lot of people struggle with RDL form. I struggled with RDL form for the longest time and it didn't make sense to me. But when you get it, it will be so easy to, you know, get. You just have to have that mind to muscle connection and really focus on your form i stress this all the time you need to make sure your rdl form is good or else you will hurt your lower back and it will hurt really bad i promise you there's been times where i like do rdls and my back just hurts so bad the next day and then i'm like yeah my form was off i didn't have that mind to muscle connection so you really need to focus on that mind to muscle connection to finish off this glute exercise i'm taking it back to the basics when I started working out, I used to do blogilates at home and do like the banded exercise. And honestly, do not like overlook these. They are actually really good for your glutes. So I'm using a resistance band right above the knee and I'm going into glute kickbacks. I do them really, really slow and drive my knee in to, you know, keep that tension in my glutes and make sure I'm getting that mind to muscle connection. So I'm doing three sets of 10 on each leg with a 10 rep pulse at the end. This is a great glute isolation exercise and a great burnout for the end of your workout, which is why I'm ending the workout with these glute kickbacks. You can also do different variations. You can do donkey kicks, um, fire hydrants, anything like that is going to isolate those glute muscles. So yeah, this was the at-home workout that I was doing today. I took it really easy because, you know, as I said, I'm still recovering from being sick. But it did give us a great glute pump, you guys. Don't underestimate at-home workouts. I promise you they are great. I started out with glute workouts at home and I made a lot of progress, so never underestimate them. Okay, you guys, I'm going to make a protein shake with this blessed protein peanut butter cups. My favorite uh, flavor is chocolate coconut, but we ran out. You can also find this on my Amazon storefront. This is a plant-based protein. I've been using it since freshman year of high school, and I'm a freshman in college now. So, yes, it is good. So, yeah, it's plant-based, and it doesn't make me bloated or, like, make me want to throw up. I think... I'm just going to blend it up with ice, so I just use oat milk and then this and I'm just going to blend it with ice because when I shake it up, it gets all the powder and I don't like that, it's gross. Okay guys, so I have my protein shake, I'm going to drink this and then edit this video. Um, I'll give you guys like a sneak peek of what's coming next. I'm doing like, um, I have a vlog coming up early next week and then I have another, I collaborated with Fit Jeans again and we're gonna do a little collab, coll we're gonna do a little collaboration. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week.